showing off the new squad deathmatch game mode that pits four teams of squads against each other. So it's four versus four versus four versus four. The maps uh, in this squad deathmatch are a bit smaller than normal, so it's customized versions of the of existing maps. Like on Arika Harbor, for example, if people played the uh, the beta, it's the town section, so it's very tight dense areas that we're using so it's a lot about urban combat and uh, there's also one vehicle in the map though so there's always gonna be one vehicle and that kind of creates this mag uh, a magnet for action so a lot of people when you have the tank you're searching for guys and when somebody has a tank you want to get rid of it because you don't want to get beat so it, there's a lot of action and it's really intense and it's very uh, hectic and chaotic because you're four dudes against 12 other guys so it can get really really intense the way the one squad wins the entire match is they have to get 50 kills so the first squad team to 50 kills wins the round we're going to start revealing more about the single player coming up and i think people are going to find that we have a massive multiplayer and then we're going to have an equally as massive single player i think people are going to find a lot more in this game that's offered in any other game. You're going to have the big maps and the conquest and the, and the rush game modes and then the squad game modes. You're going to find the smaller maps that are more focused on infantry. So you have a lot of vehicle focused with vehicle versus infantry and then you have ones that kind of tone, tone that down and are, you know, and gives you a completely different experience and no other game can offer that variety. We have one more game mode that we're not revealing all the secrets to, but it's also squad focused and squad based. And I think when people see about this, I want to hear what their speculation is about what the next squad uh, game mode is going to be. Battlefield historically has been about multiplayer, and but I would say that this is a huge single player. I mean, you're on huge maps that are enormous and you have missions that extend across this entire this entire map. So I think people are going to find that that experience as far as, you know, immersion and uh, you know, and visually in the levels is going to be equal. Battlefield Bad Company 2 is going to release March 2nd in North America, March 5th in Europe in 2010, and it's going to be on the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and the PC.